What's up guys, it's Robert. You're watching Gent Style and today we are going to go over a few items that I recently picked up at J. Crew Factory. J. Crew has always been a store that I've known about and you know since I got into style have been interested in but have never gotten the chance to go in there and just look around. And so I was going down 82nd Street and I drove past the store and I was like, let me go in. I was able to find about six items and I'm gonna go over those items today and how they look on me. So let's get into it. The first item on the list is a Henley sweater. It is gray and I paid $13. The original price was 46. The next item is a crew neck sweater. It was 59, but I was able to pay 30 for it. The next item is a simple red, white, and blue flannel that was originally $60 and I was able to get it for 26. Some jeans, which were $70 originally, but I paid 35. Cotton purplish kind of pants that were originally 74 and I was able to get those for $37. And finally, a pair of green chinos that were $59 and I was able to get them for $30. Now for the first outfit, I went with something that was very casual. I took those green chinos and I paired them with the gray Henley. I thought this was a good look, but one thing that I'm not a big fan of with the pants is the length of the pants. They are just a little bit too long. I have to either roll them up or in the future get them hemmed if I decide to keep them. Though the top is nice, it does fit a little bit bigger than I would like to around the midsection, but if I was keeping it, I would just take in the sides with my sewing machine and the story would be over. Tailoring would just completely solve that problem. For outfit number two, I decided to take a simple red, white, and blue flannel, which I think is really nice. And I also paired it with just a pair of the J. Crew Mercantile brand jeans. And the size of the jeans are 32, 30. So I bought these knowing that they were going to fit a little bit longer than what I originally like but if again if I was going to keep them I would just simply get them tailored. This is kind of a more outdoorsy look but I'm not the biggest fan of flannels I never have and I probably will take this back but if you're a guy that likes that kind of style and you can pull them off then go for it. I mean whenever I see a flannel I think of Debo from Friday and so I try to stay away from them. And for the third and final outfit, I went with something that I thought would look really nice. I went with just a plain crew neck sweater that they sell that is kind of a brownish tan color. And then for the pants, these are kind of like a violet purplish. They are the J. Crew Flex brand, which is um, something I've never heard of, but I like the material, I like the feel. These are very soft to wear, and overall I think they look really nice. And then of course I paired them with a pair of double monks, and then on the wrist I have just a simple Seiko watch. So overall, what are my opinions on the store? Well, I think that this is a great store if you are looking for well-built, well-quality material stuff that is going to be versatile and basic. The items at J. Crew and the J. Crew factory store can be pulled off virtually by anyone who wants to put them on. And so that's what makes it a good store that appeals to the masses. Now, this is an outlet store that I shopped at, and I think that for an outlet store, I mean, I'm used to paying very affordable prices because, well, I thrift and, you know, I use uh, coupons, all that kind of stuff when I'm buying clothes. But this store for a discount store, I think it's still a little bit too expensive. I mean, paying $30 for a t-shirt, that kind of stuff is a little bit high. Now, if you do have just a little bit more to spend, or you're, you're willing to spend a little bit more on your stuff, and a $30 shirt and a $30 pair of jeans is not a bad price for you, this is the perfect store because most of the time you can always find these items at 20% off, 30% off, and then during the holiday period, which is now, a lot of the stuff in the store is 50% off, 60% off, and so that is probably going to be the best time to buy this stuff. So as for my opinion on the style of the clothes, I honestly was not uh, too impressed because some of the stuff I feel, you know, again, this is a very basic store. You know, this is simple stuff that you're going to be able to find and that other people are going to be able to wear and pull off. And so I didn't think it was flashy enough. Some basics that I already have I think are cool and you know going to J. Crew and buying extra basics really isn't something that I'm necessarily looking to do when I can go to a thrift store and find those same basics for even cheaper prices. There's really nothing other than the purple pants that really stood out. There was nothing with very interesting patterns or well thought out and so I have to say I really wasn't that impressed with the store but for the quality and the price you are getting good basics. In total for the six items I paid $229 so I think that's a pretty good value and a lot of this stuff I can mix and match if I wanted to but because I'm not a big fan of necessarily everything that I got even though it's good quality stuff I'm going to take back five of the six items and keep the violent slash purple pants. So guys, that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, I'm Robert. This is Gent Style. I'll see you in the next episode.